Hi hey guys, Martin back another car cast another week, another bright and sunny morning. Um, 12 degrees already, quite a nice day. Um, what's going on? Loads is going on. Um, is loads going on? Yeah, loads is going on. Um, so we've got Malifaux tournament this weekend. Um, tickets go off sale on Thursday night, so any last entrants need to um, get a wriggle on with that. And we're all set up for it. We've got guys coming over from the Isle of Man um, to, to play in it as well. So looking forward to it. Dave's finishing off terrain and such um, yesterday and today, and then we'll all be set for it. So if you need to, if you want to, come along and play. Um, what else is happening? Warlord Games. Um, Charlie from Warlord is coming up next Saturday, which is the 20th, um, to do a demo day um, for Warlord. It's on their website and, and such um, as, as a featured spotlight sort of thing. Um, or it's going on their website today, I think that is. Um, and he's going to be showing that, plus Martin Otten, um, who's a local player. Of Gates of Antares, he's going to come over and do a bit of Antares demonstration. So, if you want to learn bolt action, or if you already know bolt action, but you just want to come and have a have a game, then then come down on Saturday. That'll run from about probably eleven till five, I think the time slot is. Um, also, with that Operation Sea Line, which is Warlord's new book, um, all about the LTV, the Last Defence Volunteers. Um, they're, they're launching that book on that day, so that'll be on sale with a limited edition. Um, miniature of Winston Churchill holding a Tommy gun, this thing was brilliant. Uh, like to the point where I want one. <laughs> um, so he's going to have them with him, Charlie. Um, and anybody buying books will get them. There'll be new releases for Conflict 47 and such like that. So it's looking to be a good day. Um, and off the back of that, um, Fozzy, Michael Foster, um, good customer, um, good friend, and he is building some sort of. Um, basic campaign, sort of slow grow campaign for bolt action to, to start in the next few weeks. Um, I think it's going to be on three or four weeks that it starts and we're running it probably looking at a Thursday night. Um, so again, if you want to get into bolt action, um, you start off very, very small um, amount of troops and then you build up week by week and we'll eventually we'll work our way through Europe um, and by the end of it we should all have big full armies, painted, unpainted, um, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, on the note of painting, um, John might kill me for saying this, um, we have a commission painter, um, John Bowers, and his work's absolutely brilliant, and I, and I mean brilliant, he, he paints all my stuff for me now, um, and his prices are ridiculously low, I keep telling him to charge more and he won't do it, um, but you, you're literally, you're talking maybe three pound a mini um, for the troops and such if you want bigger character pieces doing they're still only towards five maybe six pounds which in the commission where this is not much cheap um, so if you're looking to get into a game but you think oh I don't want to paint them it's not expensive to get them painted up it really isn't um, as an example um, another customer Stephen has just had um, a massive US Marine Corps um, army painted up with, there was a half track in there, there was, or a universal carrier I should say in there, um, there was a Sherman in there, there was MMG teams in there, there was all sorts, it was more than just an army box, um, there was bits on top of that, and I think all in all, for assembly, paint and varnish, I think it was only something like 170 quid, and that's just nothing, that, there was so many miniatures, um, like so many, I think it worked. I was like 250 a model, um, including assembly. You can't beat that. So, um, John's available. Um, so get in touch with us, and, and I'll pass you details if you're looking for any commission work. Um, what else is happening? The Journeyman League for War Machine. That's looking to be amazing. So that starts a week, two weeks yesterday. So the 23rd, which is a Tuesday. And again, it's another slow grow league for War Machine and Hordes where you start off with the equivalent of either a battle group or the equivalent um, if battle group isn't available. Uh, whether you've already got the models or whether you're building the models um, into it, it's it's a £30 entry point if you haven't got the models. Um, that, that's that's what they, they sell for is 30 quid. And then, again, we're slowly building up to, to end up with an army and we'll have a tournament at the end of it as well, um, which is 
be loads of fun, surely. So th there is literally loads going on. Gaming is picking up. 40k naturally has slowed down a little bit because we know 8th is coming, we just still don't know what date, but the rules are coming through thick and fast every day. Um, great to see the community team, um, GW community team, um, interacting with the community the way they do. Um, lots of sarcasm um, in their messages, and it, it's brilliant. I went last Friday to Warhammer World to watch um, Ace and Sean have their game of Ultramarines versus Tyranids, and had a good chat with um, Rob and Dan and John from um, Warhammer Live. And, and they're just a good bunch of guys, you know. They, they, they've, they've got, they've got ideas, and they want to push them forward. They want to make them work, um, and they already are doing. It's just obviously Games Workshop have, have been where they've been for a long time, so this is all new territory, and they, they, they are, they're opening themselves. I think is probably the right way um, to suggestion, and then letting, letting themselves move forward, or letting these guys move them forward and just throw it out to the community, it's brilliant stuff. Um, a couple of them, um, Rob and Dan, are, are looking to possibly come up to the North West Open, um, depending on whether tickets are available, because obviously we're sold out at the moment. We're looking at rejigging some tables, see if we can squeeze a few extra in, get a few extra tickets up. But yeah, it's just, it's all happening. On the note of 40k, um, the successful applicants have been announced for No Retreat 5, and I was, I was in there. Um, first name out of the hat to be fair, um, well not out of the hat but first name announced um, and that's the, there's 36 people going to Gibraltar in September to play an 8th edition tournament and it's already looking like it's going to be amazing, the, the, the chat's already started, the banter's started, the whip pictures have started, it's, it's going to be good flights are expensive but it's going to be bloody good um, I went in January which is obviously off season and September is very much in season and the difference in the price of the flights is massive uh, but it's still cheaper than having a couple of nights out um, with with friends and, and, and such so at the end of the day that's it's my vice and that's what I do um, off to Canada in, in August to go and see Scary. Um, hello Scary, if you're watching. Um, Scardcast, one of the sponsored channels. You go and check him out. Um, so I'm going to over to film a couple of battle reports with him and play in the big Can Hammer tournaments. And, and yeah, as I say, it's just, there seems to be loads going on. Um, I'm still, I said last week, I'm, I'm sort of, the, the business is further on than we expected it to be, but there are still things that haven't been done 12 months ago. I said I'm like, sort of, stretched as such and I'm still very much stretched but we, we've sat down and we've, we've put some sort of action plan it's not an action plan but we've just sort of said right you know what what's important this what's not necessarily important but it's going to make me feel better this so Dave's concentrating on the important bits now I'm concentrating on the they're going to make me feel better if these jobs just get done and there are only little things the things that if you guys came into the shop you wouldn't even notice but I notice because I'm there every day. So um, we're, we're working through them. Um, almost finished the bolt action demo board last night, so there'll be pictures of that going up on the Facebook page and Instagram soon. You might have seen any of you that follows on Instagram, you might have seen Ken, um, our newest employee. Um, the, the mannequins arrived yesterday, which ultimately, as, as I'm sure you know, they're, they're going to be stormtroopers. So we've got two full sets of stormtrooper armor. So the the actual mannequins arrived yesterday and I built one of the mannequins up, put a War Games t-shirt on them and I just left them stuck behind the till. And the idea was it was going to freak a load of customers out, which it did, but it kept freaking me out as well. I kept saying, I moved them out of the way and every time I turned around, it ended up jumping. Um, yeah, it's good fun. Um, and yeah, everything's just going well. Board game night last night was absolutely packed. Um, there, there was so many games and they were all... We sort of we, we all had a bit of a chat and said right but what what can we do to to lift things up and and get more people coming in for board games um, and get some other people returning etc etc and we opted to to have a night of playing games that don't last an hour or, or last up to an hour and as a result last night some people got four different games in um, some people only played two because they came in later or they left early but it means that you're not required to get at a certain time and then you're in a game which you might not enjoy the whole night 
So we're, we're, we're keeping it mixed up. We're keeping the, the, the smaller games on definitely. And then at least once a month, we'll, um, we'll have big game night where, where people get stuck into the bigger games. And it's not to say that we can't do that on the, the normal nights as well, but definitely the focus is on the shorter games. Um, anything else to talk about? Um, yeah, I, I think that probably covers it all. There, there's, there's loads going on. As I say, um, there's not much to talk about in the way of new releases. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, it's kind of kind of covers it. Um, it's a really quick video for me. I'm, I'm getting good at this, this non waffling thing. I am off to yoga tonight. Go figure. Never done yoga before. And Georgie battered on. She goes and she battered on. Oh yeah, it'll be good for you. It'll help you with your back and you won't be in as much pain anymore. And blah, 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 blah. You're getting old. Thanks, Georgie. Um, and then her yoga instructor and her partner came into the store to buy some Magic the Gathering and we got chatting and there's a men's class and we were talking about it I said you know what, sod it, let's have a go um, I shouldn't say it can't hurt because it's really going to hurt because I'm going to stretch places in my body that haven't been stretched since I was 14 or something when I used to run and let's see what happens um, but it might clear my mind a little bit and help me with, with all the other stuff so, so I'll let you know next week how that went um, yoga, Martin doing yoga sort of wrong with it, anyway now I am starting to waffle so again nice short sharp one um, Nick thanks for your comment last week saying I'm, I'm becoming a pro at this maybe I am, <laughs> I'm sure I never will be, well listen guys thanks for watching I'll see you next week